Hey guys, welcome back to another Hogwarts Legacy episode. If you missed the last one, we got a broom, we flew around, we saw a lot of the land outside of Hogwarts, and this, in the episodes before that, we explored Hogwarts, we went to the secret library areas, we fought trolls, we went to Hogsmeade, so be sure to catch up on the series if you haven't yet. Today, we are going to get a new spell, which is right over there, and then... I'm finally going to go check out the rumor requirements. What is that sound? Rebellion. Oh! Serpentine Beast Window. All those Slytherins like to think this window is somehow a tribute to their house founder. It is actually a Serpentine Beast coiled around a tree that extends from the mouth of the legendary Green Man. A tree that extends from the mouth of a legendary Green Man? Jack and the Beanstalk? I have no idea. I have no idea. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get down to my missions. Down to my missions. So we gotta uh, meet Sebastian. Over here. Oh, I'm sorry, Sebastian. I fell asleep on the floor, apparently. Like most wizards do. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Undercroft? This way. How's the Undercroft? Sounds shady, Sebastian. You're just trying to get me into a place alone. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Where is it? You usually take all the ladies to this secret passage, Sebastian. Ooh. <gasps> what? What's up with my, my clothes? My clothes? My clothes is like I, <laughs> I don't I don't understand. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. Ominous Gaunt. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my oh. sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. Lumos. I should tell you. I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. So a little history, you know, that I've read myself. I didn't, I wasn't quite sure of myself until I read about it. But Ominous Gaunt, the blind kid, is a descendant from of Voldemort. He might not be a direct descendant, but he is in Voldemort's family. This is cool. Revelio. Yeah, so before we talk to him, let's make sure we uh, loot everything we can loot. Go. Beautiful. All right, we got a bunch of hand-me-downs, but... I do love getting loot, even if it's under geared. I love getting loot because it opens up um, the ability for me to change into the gear, like the appearance. All right, Sebastian, what's up? I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says. The wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full <gasps> of secrets. Ooh. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, 
the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. What? Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. The blasting cor cur curse? Uh, it sounds... it does sound dangerous. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. <gasps> he frowns upon using forbidden spells. You take that back. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. I'm down. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Confringo. That's a weird word. Confringo. Right. Oh, we're doing the Zoro. Confringo. Here we go. Y. A. A. X. Fringo. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Yes. I am more than ready. All right. So, um, I only have these three spaces. Maybe for now. We, um, hmm. Maybe I put the levitate spell somewhere else. So which one's Kofrango? Uh, it's this one right here. A long range bolt that deals damage on impact. Enemies hit with fire based attacks will continue to take damage for a few seconds during which time collisions will result in an incendiary burst. All right, so did not mean to do that. Um, let's put that here. Put that there. All right, and then we'll we'll make the light one uh da, 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 boom, like that. I need to I need to upgrade a third uh, set. I need to unlock the third set. Stick to the targets though. Best to keep the undercroft intact. Then... Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that it can bring up nice work. Woo! How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it. Well done. That is awesome. Oh my. Ooh, the destruction. That is cool. God is going to be so angry when he comes down here and sees everything has been destroyed. <laughs> Woo! Oh, okay. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. It is explosive, that's why. Uh, I'm ready for more spells like this. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar she spells like, here she for likes ages. Power. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. I'd be glad to. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? <gasps> he didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. She told him everything. There was this port key. A port key? Everything. To Gringotts. Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. 
I'm not ready to tell you everything. No, th why'd you tell him anything? We can't trust this guy. The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Like when I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Like he literally... He literally gave up Gaunt's like, secret room to me after Gaunt asked him not to. Revelio. Can't trust him. Confringo. Whew. I love this spell. That's my new favorite spell. Explosion. Destruction. Destroy. Okay. Hopefully there's nothing else in that room. Oh, th there goes... <laughs> what is on my, my jacket? Uh-oh. Hello, Sebastian. Oh, it's ominous. <gasps> you there. I can hear you. Oh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Uh, I stumbled upon it. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. Not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father Ooh. is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Okay, ominous. Chill. Take a damn chill pill. Holy hell, he is related to Voldemort. Um, no need for threats. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Jealous? Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Jeez! Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Confringo! Confringo! Look what Sebastian taught me, huh? You don't like this? You don't like this? You blind fool! <sighs> he didn't see that. What are you it. playing at? What? Did you just yell at me through uh, through the secret passage? Hey. All right. Oh, I gotta. I gotta. I gotta, I gotta think. Spare a moment. I could use your help. Uh, what is going on here? Hello? Hello, hello, Peeves? Peeves, I hate you. I hate you, Peeves. I hate you. Oh. Confringo! I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small, uh, project. Hang on, I'm trying to, trying to kill Peeves. Oh, such fun! What's up, Duncan? You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hophouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course, confronting trolls and dragons. There be dragons. I had some good luck. Why, thank you. We're just going to say thank you. Oh, that's nice to hear. I've had my share uh -huh. of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff skein. Puff skein? Uh, they can be scary. Uh, what's to be scared of? Are you afraid of your own shadow too? <laughs> Surely you're joking. You can't possibly be afraid of a puff skin. It cute. may seem irrational to you, but my experience with them has been most upsetting. They eat bogeys, you know. 
Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. Uh, that's actually... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the hidden herbology corridor. The hidden herbology corridor? Uh oh Yes. Rumor has it that the herbology professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. <gasps> Where is it? I was it? hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Without going Say in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Uh... <laughs> What should I expect? What sort of plant should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Thank you, thank you. I wonder why my character is the only one that looks like they're allowed to wear anything in this school. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. Sounds fun. And, uh, find the and enter the Hidden Herbology. You know what? Let's go ahead and just go. Let's just do that. Because the next mission, I guess I'm never going to get to the, the room requirement. Because I keep finding these missions. Yes, let's go. Um... Go to herbology class real quick. Uh, is this it? Yeah, this is it right here. So we want to go here. I love finding every little thing, though. I love the exploration of this game. What are you up to now? I just, I love seeing the game. By the way, I don't know if you guys can tell if you made it this far, but. In this episode, starting with this episode, I upped the brightness just a tiny bit. I don't know if it's noticeable. Okay. Revelio. Yeah, let's get one of these. Ditney leaves. Okay. All right. Looks like more Ditney leaves is going to be uh, growing there. Okay. Now we need to go down. But what? How? Chest. Okay, we found some galleons. So it wants me to go th through here. Uh, how about this? We got a market on the quest, so it. Actually, we already have it tracking. What? Hmm. How nice to see you, my young friend. That's trying to make me leave. I think that's trying to make me find and enter the hidden herbology corridor. <laughs> trying to make me leave a different place. What? Oh, is it outside? The hidden herbology corridor is outside the building? What's going on? I have no idea if this is correct. <laughs> Don't be suspicious. I can explode Confringo. things now. Revelio. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is just trying to get me to go to the main mission, which I'm not trying to get. I don't understand why. It's trying to get me to go there. Okay. Let's look at the map. There's only... So it looks like... Yeah, it wants me to go outside. What? So if we... Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
I got an idea. We go here, we jump on a broom, and then we just fly over there. That's quicker than running around. Okay. How do we do this? Boom. There we go. I can show you the world. Rebellion. Rebelling and rebelling everything. Rebellio is really powerful, I know. What the hell is this thing? These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Dry vines? Oh, secrets! Confringo! Explosions! Ah. So I got two fire attacks now. Revelio. Really cool, really cool. Okay, anything else I can see right here? Nothing else. I don't know what this is for yet, but I'm assuming I will find out later. <gasps> Ooh. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. I don't have my light. Revelio. Why is this creepy? Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Of course. Okay, so yeah. hold up. So we need to put um I'll put light uh right here. <laughs> Right now. Lumos. Oh, this is awesome. That is so cool. It sounds very creepy. Ah. Rebellion. Lumos. Thing up here. Ooh. Um. So if we go back here. Confringo. Okay, that's cool. I can light things now. Oh, check that out. Awesome. Blazer's school uniform. Just in case. Alright, I don't think there's anything else for me here. Yeah. Ha. Ooh. Ah. Lumos. This is extremely creepy. Ah. Get out of my way! It seems the Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. That's what it seems, huh? Unidentified neck item? Did I just lose that? Hold up. Uh, because I happen to have full gear now. Neck item. Did I pick it up? Oh, I do have it. Oh, nice. So now I have 24, so I need to get rid of something. We don't know what that is, but we're going to keep it. Um, let's go back to gear. I gotta destroy one thing. So we're gonna destroy this. We're gonna destroy something else. Uh, and we're gonna sh destroy this. Uh, oh no, that's what we got equipped. Hmm. We're gonna keep those three. Check out the hat. I need. I need to destroy something. Uh, preferably something that's 60. 60 gold. Uh, right here. Let's destroy that. Alright, so I destroyed two items. That means I can pick up two more items. Awesome. Pavelio. Ooh, there's like some kind of secret tree in there.
Lumos. It'd be cool if it like revealed a door right there. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Tentacular. Okay, um. Confringo. There we go. That thing is huge. Revelio. Anything else around here? Lumos. Please don't eat me. Holy hell, that thing is massive. Giant venomous tentacular leaves. Look at that. Okay. I got. I gotta do some destruction here Confirm before I leave. Ah. I was hoping that it would all blow up, but apparently it didn't. Oh, that nice. Just caught the entire hot. Uh, the entire Hogwarts on fire. It was a little one. Oh! Revelio. Cool! There's a secret hatch to go back downstairs. Unidentified neck item that's a legendary. And we have to take those unidentified items to the room requirement, so that's kind of good that we did this first. Revelio. Huh. We got some new plants. Is there any other way out? More mare robes? I don't know what that is. I, I guess I had to leave the way I came out. Uh, well, no, actually, I could just... I could just teleport back over there. Um, right here. No. Right here. That was a cool little area. Very creepy. It gives me hope for, uh, like, what else are we going to find out in the world that is just as creepy as that. Okay. Uh, in here. Have you found anything to, uh, prove my bravery yet? Yes. Hello, Duncan. I yes, have I the did. proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. Now pay me. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Actually, I just, I might just keep this. Hmm. You know what? We are slithering! Now that I think about it, Puff Skeen Dunkeen, oh! I think I shall keep this. Oh! You need to overcome your cowardice. You bully. can't be serious. <gasps> this is awful. He's a bully. I don't know what to do now. Uh, I'm not serious. We're just messing with him. Only teasing. We had an arrangement. Oh, thank goodness. This is sure to put an end to Puff Skeen Dunkeen for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. She was like half and half. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff skiing dunking for me. Remember, our character is kind of like chaotic neutral. So we, we're, we're good and bad. We are doing the, uh, the curses, the unforgivable curses. So we're not that good. Good and bad. All right. So, n what's next on the agenda? Um, first of all, let's let's check out our um, oh, rumor requirement. That's next. 
All right, let's go to our, our gear real quick. And we have this. Let's check this out. Okay, well, something that we can destroy. And then we got this, which we don't. I, we, we, I'm going to room a requirement. We're, that's where we're going. All right, let's check out the map. I'm going to go ahead and teleport as close close to the place as I can, which is just it's upstairs. But maybe I could be extremely lazy and just go there. Revelio. Tupac. Tupac the wizard would have said Machiavelli. You know what I'm saying? Professor Weasley? Dude, this, <sighs> this is suspicious. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Suspicious. Very suspicious. I must acquire the room of requirement. Oh hell yeah! This is a big part of the game right here. By the way, big part of the game. This is as big as getting your wand. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me, and I, Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. I wonder if she knows what that room is. By the way, it looks exactly like it did in a movie. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. What? It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. Revelio. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Mm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. This is amazing. I love this. Revelio. We need we need to make sure we don't miss anything. It looks like everything's around the the bend right here. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, what? the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Hmm. Evanesco? Okay. Woo, that's a fast one. It's a little curvy. I'm gonna poof it. Poof it, poof. Be gone. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. All right, you know what? We now are at a point in our, um, our skills where I need to, I need to upgrade to level two. Or a new set. I have to. I wanted to save it. And I can upgrade to, to, to the last one, but we're gonna save that for right now. I don't know. I wanna save my points because there could be some things I need later. Um and once you once you use the points, you can't get them back. Um Okay. So here, let's do this. So now 
So how about we make down for our light and invisibility and fixing and then this banishes items and returns moonstone when cast within the room of requirement okay now since we got this one set up like this we're gonna put this spell right there um i think we could keep it like this for now even though it's kind of similar to this i like i like this Excellent work. Perfect. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Rebellion. Okay, before we keep going, I just want to keep looking around here. There'll be some cool stuff or an Easter egg. Remember, Harry Potter went through here in the future. Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. Can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. What's this? Hey, I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you'd expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely, T. A and T. So who would A be? And then who would be who who would T be? Albus Dumbledore? Oh. I don't know. If you have any ideas, let me know if if I've missed missed the uh, this idea. Lumos. Revelio. Huh. Oh! Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. What? Lumos. This is so cool. Lumos. Is that a little goblin? Or a little, little dead elf? What is that? The statue of Vanos. Gear is still filled up, so we need to uh, destroy something. Let's check in here. 50, 90, 90. I guess I'll destroy one of the 90s. Um, destroy this. Boom. Okay. Revelio. No telling how old this was, but it was delicious. Lumos. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Revelio. Intruder! Stop what? them! 
Numerous. That's not helpful, you worthless pirate. Oh, <laughs> he was trying his best. The poor armor. Revelio. Splash the toilet. Bit offended that the room thought I needed a bath, cheeky thing. <laughs> the room of requirement. That's crazy. What what is, what is the room Lewis. gonna give me? What's this? Revelio. Lumos. Uh okay. That's crazy. Oh, the, look, 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 that's the, um, that's one of those things that they keep the, the house points in right there. I'm like taking my time. Oh, this is, this looks cool. What? Revelio. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Exactly. Hey. Puff, 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 puff. What was that? Oh. Was that a golden snitch? Golden Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> I will burn you. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to destroy a couple more pieces of gear. It sucks I have to do this. Uh, this is only worth 60. Let's destroy that one. This is only worth 60, 60. Let's destroy that one. There we go. Oh, we got an upgraded scarf. Nice. It's been a while since I, I got an upgrade. Revelia. Okay, so how am I going to... Oh, right here. Nice. Now, is there a reason? Like, is there something I could put that at? Yeah, let's go in here first. Let me Akio. Hmm. Revelio. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do there. Is there a place for me to get over somehow? Huh. Think, 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 think. Huh. Huh. I can't get in there. There has to be a way for me to jump over. There he is, what do you do? Rebellion. I'm like taking my sweet time in here. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Akio. Okay. Revelia. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back. All right, I, I am not gonna leave that over there. There has to be some way in there. So what I'm assuming is... Maybe I can jump over? No. Let 
Levioso. I was thinking maybe I could just grab this from the other side. How the hell do I get back there? I am going to figure this out. Like, what the heck? There's loot in this box. There's a secret damn room. It doesn't appear there's anywhere for me to jump over, but it looks like... It looks like there's a way, or should be a way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I do this. There we go. That's not gonna work. Yes, give me the blue. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Rebellion. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> All right. It's probably like a way easier way of doing that. I just didn't know. Deke. What a Deke. Oh, look at it. It's a kid. Yikes, careful. Like a little huh? old man. Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Oh, yes. Indeed it is. I'm a cool as hell. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. Oh, this the is room it. The will do the rest. This is going to be so crazy. Whenever someone comes into this room, it looks different for them individually. It, it feels dangerous. Woo! That is awesome. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any unidentified gear that you've collected. Awesome, I needed that. Anything else? Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and identify some gears. 
Oh, it identified everything that I have. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Here, let's actually look at what we just identified and see if there's anything I can I can change. I did see there was an upgrade for a scarf. What? It has a a trait slot? Increased damage with Confringo? That's the first time I've seen a trait uh, trait slot field. Oh, we're putting that on. It has a legendary cruelty. Increased damage with cru Crucia. That is... Whew, that is so good. That is so good. I like it too. Actually, it looks pretty cool. Alright, let's check out everything that we got. Alright. This is going to be so interesting. This one has the same thing. This one has deafening, increased damage with Mandrake, increased damage with Expelliarmus. Um, so I'm only going to be losing one point, so let's put on this one. So that means we just have double increased damage with Crucia. I don't know if that means legendary, because they're they're all different colors. Um, okay. By the way, I do not like the what the the look of the gloves, so we're gonna put these back on. All right, let's check out I or uh, uh, yeah, I wear. Nothing crazy, so let's just keep what we got on. Okay, about the hat. Oops. All right, we have an upgrade for the hat. Anti venom, decreased damage taken from spiders. We are definitely, <laughs> we are definitely, go you know what? No, nah, all right. I was going to say, we're going to keep that hat, but no, no. Taking the hat off. Okay. All right, let's check this one out now. Okay, no upgrades for these. And now the, the outfit. I kind of want to see what this outfit looks like. Well, that's cool. That, 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 it's actually pretty good. It's bluish. I like that. But it's not better than this. This is. And this is. All of these are. Huh. Only about one. And I don't think one matters. And I can have a trait with this. Okay. Um... 48 42 Okay, we're gonna keep it like this Actually doesn't look bad at all the whole suit goes together. This is so good Um, do I have broom upgrades? I don't All right, what else there's so much more in here I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Hell yes. Conjuring spell. I'm gonna do a little loop-de-loop. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. 
They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Awesome. So, uh, now I need, uh, we got a new spell. We need to figure out where we want to put that first. Um, I guess I would put it on this tab, right? And then, um, it's right here. I want to put it on this tab. Let's do it like that. Okay. This is so cool. So, what is this? Small scientific poster station, small but by, by, by botanical. What? Gothic potion station. So, these are all the same stations. They do the same things. Depends on what, how I want it to look. Hmm. Let's try this one. Oh. Oh, this is so cool. Potions right here. I am gonna love this. It's gonna take me absolutely forever to get things the way I want. Oh, I could have changed colors. What? That's amazing. Luckily, luckily I'm, I'm happy with the blue for, for the potions table. Okay. Um, what is this? Hopping pot. Okay. All right, now we need a her the herbology. I mean, obviously we want we want botanical, right? For the herb, yeah, yeah, yeah. But change color. Maybe make it green. Hmm. We don't want everything blue. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, herbology. 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 All right, we have potions in this corner. Put the the herbs and the plants in this corner. How do I um rotate? Beautiful. Center it up. Center. I mean, that looks centered, right? Uh, boom. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. A desk which can be used to identify unknown pieces of gear. Alright, so we already have one of those. We already have one of those. I have decorations. I have, you know what? I'm just putting random things down. I'm not, I, what's up, Deke? What are you doing here? Magical contraption painting? Floating island painting. Let's check it out. We got floating island painting. Put that like right here. Uh oh. What? I could change the size. Of course we want it centered. We can't have it off centered. Right there. It's not centered! Why is it crooked? <laughs> Please. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I'd like to know more about Deke. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. How? I wonder how old 
house elves can be. Could Dobby be alive in this in this timeline? Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Okay, thank you, Professor. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. <gasps> like what? Go ahead and teach me. Teach me now, lady. The flu flames. Yeah, let's go ahead and learn whatever she has to, to teach me. We, got, we can make chairs. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. We can make tables, mirrors. We, we even get, get Deke's cleaning our place. He's keeping it all nice and fresh. I love this. I love this. All right, Professor Weasley, what up? I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the I lesson. I got some. I already have some. What are you talking about? Interior decorating. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Walls and the like floor. To you, Wingardium Leviosa. Oh. It can be used to levitate objects for a right. short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Oh, hell yeah, Professor Garlic. Okay, uh, conjure wall decorations, 105. Conjure floor decorations, 105. Okay, let's get back to conjuring. So, um, we got rugs. Cool, let's check this one out. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Change size. Bigger. Oh my goodness. Deke, you need to get the hell out. Deke! Get the hell out of the way, Deke. So I can't put anything in the center of the room? Is that, is that what it's telling me? Hmm. Might not want... Why can't I put anything in the center of the room? Me not in the playable space. The hell? Alright, we're not going to worry about rugs. Uh, ooh! <gasps> Mirrors. Nice. Um... Go with the, the, the square mirror. Okay, where do we put this? We want to be able to see ourselves. Can I go in here? What's in here? No? Okay. Do I have any other rooms? Put it right here. Must be placed against a flat surface. Huh. I just need to put a mirror down. It doesn't really matter. I could change this stuff later. I could change this stuff later. Let's put a mirror right here. I... By the way, this is going to take me forever. I'm going to be in here for a long time. Conjure. Awesome. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. What are you talking about? There's only one plant, and it's on that table in the corner. All right, um, now, what is this? Ooh, oh, statue of a hippogriff? What? Yeah, we're putting this in the center. Oh my, huge. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. That was perfect. Awesome. Botanical study lamp. They cannot believe how many best you have here. Up. We don't want it that big. We just want it like this. Yeah. 
Huh. Oh, I see. So it has to be like this. Boom. Put another one like... Huh. So it can't snap on this side. That's ridiculous. Why? Why, game? All right, we'll just keep one over there. That's fine for right now. I'm going to be changing this a lot. Marble globe, dragon globe, large globe. Can, can I put a large... I, I doubt I can put this over there. So I can't put anything in this corner right here. Let's put it right... Can't put it there. Uh, Rotate. Right there. Perfect for now. Perfect for now. All right. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here. Before. Put one of these down somewhere. Uh, rotate, rotate. Put it right here. I'm definitely going to be changing this room up a lot. I'm just trying to put things down to make the the game happy. Scientific study. Cool. Alright, what else can I make? Uh, ooh, decorations. A Christmas tree! It ain't Christmas yet. That's cool, though. We got a small scientific table. It's down over here somewhere, if possible. Doesn't look like it's gonna be possible, which sucks. Eek, will you help me? Eek. Maybe we put it over here. Um. Right there. Yes. So I can't snap it too close forward. That's that. That's fine. So much. There's just a lot. There's a lot. Small gothic table. This table looks cool. Table looks cool. Yeah, let's just place this right here for right now. Okay. I'm hoping. I'm assuming I can move things. We got a bunch of new art. Deke cannot believe how many beasts you have here. <laughs> that painting's way too big, but it's cool. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Contraption diagram. Ooh, we'll put this one over here on this side on the wall. Right here. Put it right. Yeah. Good work. Shall we move on? Is that everything? Thank you. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Oh, so I'm going to be able to do this with items that's already set down, I think. Awesome. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. This? Uh, oh. Uh, altering spell. This one. So... Um... Oh. Okay, that, okay that's cool. 
Alter the style of an item, change the color of an item, adjust the item. So yeah, let's just do it on this one. Uh, right, so it's altered. God. Uh, it's a little tiny, tiny table. Very tiny table. <laughs> um. You should be proud of all the potions you brewed. Change the color of it. Change the color. Here we go. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. What? Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. What? That is awesome! Ooh. I like it. It's either gonna be this believe one. Believe how many beasts you have here. Or this one. We're gonna go with this one for now. That is so cool. I can change the color. What? That doesn't really go with it. We're gonna go with this. Hold and apply to all floor changes. This will apply the current visuals and colors of all architecture of the room of requirement. Confirm. Your That's space fine. might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Now, uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Now, I'm definitely going to change everything. Definitely gonna change everything, but for right now, this is such a cool start. Let's try this. Hold on. We'll go here. What? This is so cool. Oh, we definitely want something higher, right? Instead of just this dome. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I like that. I like this one. Uh, we can change the color. Ooh. Hmm. Let's see what white looks like real quick? Okay. Gothic. So I could turn it all gothic. Right now, everything's scientific. Potato. Gothic. Gothic. Turn it all gothic. Hold to apply to all walls and bookshelves. Oh, I understand. Okay, so I don't have to change it all at once, like one by one, I can change the whole thing. So this the room just completely changed. I have bats flying everywhere. <laughs> what the hell? It's so cool. I love it, I love it. All right, Deke, what do you want to teach me? Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? All cool moonlit ambient sounds perfect. I like something natural and earthy. I focus best in a room that is dark and mysterious. Mm, I think I'd that's, like the room to feel mysterious I think that's and what eerie, I already did. As if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. What? Oh, that's crazy. I think it might be too dark there. 
Hmm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Hey! What? What's happening? More room? <gasps> I get a second room? What is going on? This isn't... What am I playing them? What am I playing them? Animal Crossing? I'm upgrading my house? <laughs> An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. This is Good. so cool. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. I can see people spending a lot of time in this place. A lot of time. Deke, I, I, we, we need it brighter, to, br brighter up in here. It's too dark. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I, I wish I could, like, check them all out. A cool, moonlit ambient sounds perfect. I like something natural and earthy. Try this. I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy, as though I'm outdoors. Hmm, huh. sounds perfect. Nice. Now we're now we're bright. I can see things. Things is looking cool. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I am proud. Very proud. So is this the entrance or the which way is the entrance? Right here. So this would be the entrance. So we definitely want to change this thing around. Huh, really? Actually, that, uh, that that looks cool. So I can't have it facing this way, but I can have it facing this way. It's better than seeing its butt first thing when you walk in. So when you walk in, that's the first thing you see. I like that. Okay. Room is very gothic. I might be changing this whole feel to the place later of course i'll be adding more stuff to the walls and everything changing the the picture sizes and removing everything let's check out over here see what this place looks like bunch of paintings on the wall everywhere this is so awesome it's massive too like that's crazy said something about like practicing your spells and stuff but I don't really unless we unlock more stuff it'd be cool to like unlock like a training dummy stuff like that uh here let's see what else I have so I have um furniture we have dressing screens like this one Hmm. Yeah. Where, 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 where does a delirious wants to change his his clothes? Behind here. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Right here. Boom. Change clothes behind that. What's this? Gold herbology trophy that right in the center we'll make it bigger make it bigger more grand right in the center 
It sucks it doesn't have really really have guidelines to tell you if you're directly in the center or not. It's good enough for right now. Right now it's good enough. Okay. And what else? What else do I have? What's in here? Oh, we got some chairs. Some beautiful chairs. We got plenty of chairs. Well, I got too many chairs as it is. Alright. I think I think this is enough for now. There is God look, there's just so much to unlock. Found in chests scattered throughout the world. Alright, where's the uh right here? So this is the potion place. So we can start off um creating a health potion. So I need to make a bunch of these, actually. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do, actually? I have an idea. We can get rid of all the stuff in this room, right? Then, this will be my potion area, or my workstation area, right? So, potions. Right here. And, um... One right there. One right there. Huh. Put one more right here, I believe. I just need to get rid of this. Go ahead and get rid of this one, too. I can do this now. Select one of those. 30 seconds. Select one of these. Awesome. Get one of those cooking. And get one of these cooking. That is... Ah, that's so good. So good. And I can do the same thing on this wall for the other things um for herbology okay. um and then herbology let's um change color one Two. It's like we can only get three in here, but that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and plant some things. I can only plant Dittany leaves for right now because that's the only uh, plants I have. Uh, at least we have three Dittany plants growing. That will take ten minutes. Select my potions. Select. 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 I love it. I absolutely love it. My workstation. Okay. Woo. Here, and since I have Dick one in here. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Go ahead and have that going too. Thank you. Thank you, Deke. Thank you so much, Deke. All right. Well, there's nothing else for me to really do in this area for right now because I don't have that much stuff to, uh, to unlock or that I have unlocked. Enchanted Loom, Material Refiner. We don't have that stuff yet. Scientific Potting Table with five pots. Scientific Potting Table with three pots. Love it. This is such a cool room. Such a cool room. All right, guys. Let me know what you think about the room requirements. Is this something that gets you excited to play this game? Because it... It is a upgrade. Like this game was already great. 
now it's even better. Just for the fact you get a room like this, you could decorate it individually. You could change the colors. I've seen people, I've seen people really decorate their room requirements on, uh, like in in clips, like on shorts and TikTok, and they look crazy different especially once you start getting tables in the center and you can start moving around and everything and you unlock all the armor and like cool stuff that you can put down it just like completely changes everything what is that so cool wait a minute hold on hold on hold on and i oh I actually like that way better. Way better. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, before we leave the rumor requirement, let me check out my quest. So we have Professor Garlic. We have an assignment. She wants to, us to acquire and use the Venomous Tentacula and acquire and use a Mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously, which we haven't did. And then we got to report to Professor Fig for the map chamber. Now that Professor Fig has returned, I'm excited to show him the missing pages and the secret map chamber I found below the school. So first off, we're going to go with this one, and then we'll go with that one. But we'll do that in the next video. I hope you guys have been enjoying my uh, Hogwarts episodes. Please leave a like on this video. If this video gets a ton of likes, it will, you know, push me to post the next episode faster. So do it. Hit the like button, and I will catch you all in the next Hogwarts video. Peace out, everybody, and bye.